U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is traveling to Europe to coordinate with NATO allies. Blinken says the U.S. is still committed to a diplomatic solution if one can be reached, but he doubts that Russia is negotiating in good faith. Allison Harris is live at the White House with the latest on the global response to the invasion. Allison. Good morning, Adrian. This morning, the Secretary of State Antony Blinken departs for Europe, where he'll be meeting with G7 leaders and NATO allies, first in Belgium, then in Poland, Moldova, and on to the Baltic states. At the same time, the International Criminal Court is opening a case to investigate whether, in fact, Russia is committing war crimes. The result of the vote is... Applause erupting at the United Nations General Assembly as an overwhelming majority of nations voted to condemn Russian President Putin's war. 141 countries voted to do that in the UN General Assembly. Several abstained. China abstained. Didn't, didn't vote with them, but abstained. The New York Times reporting that China asked Russia to wait until after the Olympics in Beijing to invade. Only a few countries voted against, including Russia, Belarus, North Korea, and Syria. They're alone. And they did what they did, in my view. He did what he did because he thought he could split NATO, split Europe, and split the United States. We're going to demonstrate to the whole world. No one can split this country. The U.S. ambassador to the U.N. speaking to Russian soldiers on the front lines. Your leaders are lying to you. Do not commit war crimes. Do everything you can to put down your weapons and leave Ukraine. Senior defense officials say Russian soldiers' morale is struggling and they're running out of food and fuel. Ukrainian President Zelensky declaring his nation has broken the enemy's plans, claiming 9,000 Russians have been killed in a week, a number of casualties that cannot be confirmed. And this morning, we have a new addition to President Biden's schedule. The president will be on a call with the quad leaders of Australia, India, and Japan to discuss how this crisis in Ukraine is going to impact the Indo-Pacific. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.